Hi guys, uh, this video is going to show you how to model a site topographical model using a drawing supplied to you by a surveyor. So first of all, you're going to get the survey drawing from our Moodle site, which is Site Plan 1A 2023, survey drawing with levels and contours. If you download that, depending on which type of computer you've got, it's going to go to a downloads folder. You'll see that I've already got it downloaded to this desktop uh, on my computer. So I'm going to just go into ArchiCAD and start to make use of it. So I'm going to hide my uh, Safari or my browser and hopefully uh, bring ArchiCAD to the fore again. Now look, I am using a blank, you know, ArchiCAD project. So the method is going to be very similar for you, no matter the fact that you've already probably drawn walls and perhaps the ground floor or the first floor. So do not worry about that. So we're going to model our um, topographical survey model on the sea level datum. So if I was you, I'd go into the sea level datum view and we can right click or hit its settings. There's a few things will change in there. Uh, and some will leave alone. So the building plans markers, we'll just change that to no markers. I mean, the walls won't show down here, but uh, for the moment, we'll just leave it. Um, later on, we'll change this to plan site landscaping, but for now, we'll leave it for all because there could be some layers on the engineer's drawing that we'll want to see, at least until we manage to model the mesh. So just leave it like that for now. And now what we're going to do is try and bring in the engineer's drawing. So I'm just going to go file, go down to a thing called interoperability, go to merge, merge from file. And you should get a dialog box and basically, you know, browse to where you saved it, whether it's your download folder. And we just go type B drawing. And you'll probably get a couple of dialog boxes open up. I think in this one, uh, just leave the default radio button and click OK. And let your machine do whatever it has to do. ArchiCAD's processing the drawing. There'll probably be another dialog box that shows up. And again, I think a lot of these we can leave the way they are. Just check the story that that kind of matches the view map that we're on which it does here sea level datum sea level datum editable import we'll just leave it the way it is i don't think we have to worry about that the rest of the things we can just leave so if i click merge i should get something that allows me to just click and there's another dialog box will open up and i just think you just uh yeah leave that the way it is and click ok and you should find that we've got a surveyor's drawing and when you zoom in you'll see that there's all these levels here 9.4, 9.35, which are in meters. Now, there's a couple of checks we have to do, and one of them revolves around making sure it's coming at the correct size. So this is 20 meters, and this is boundary of 31 meters. So what I'm gonna do is just click the little tape measure, and I'm gonna zoom right in down here, and I'm gonna say measure from that point all the way up to the other end and when I get to that corner you can see it says 31,000 so it looks as if it's come in at the right size I'll just check the vertical one as well so I'm just going to go up to this top corner I'm going to press the shift button to constrain it and that's 20 so I can press escape now because I'm pretty sure that that has come in at the right size now just to make sure things don't disappear because occasionally some layers in this imported drawing can disappear I'm just going to actually go on a Mac command L, but if it's a Windows machine, go control L, or I think you can go up here and go document layers. And when you bring that over, under the layers at the very bottom, you'll see that these are all okay. So if they're not, if these have been turned off, for instance, like this, just make sure you hit this layer combination at the top, which is all, and turn them all on and go update. Okay, and this quick views will be okay for now just to make sure that they stay on. So now we're going to actually create the mesh 
And what you got to do when you create the mesh is take a look at your lowest level. And this is 8.8. .8. And then take a look at your highest level, which is 9.85. Okay, so I'm going to make sure my mesh starts off a little below this and a little above this, and it's as if we're kind of modeling the topographical site out of a piece of clay. So what we'll do is make sure we're in the view map, go into the mesh tool and just double click it to get its settings. And I'm going to bring this across. And what it's asking you is which story do you want to go on? I want it to be in this story. What layer is it? It's design site mesh existing. But this is the bits where we're trying to say, look, we want to make sure this little level mesh height is above the 8.8. .8. So I'm going to just make that slightly below and I'm going to say it's 8500. And then I want the mesh thickness to be at least enough to make it above 9.85. So at the moment, 8500 plus 1000 would only give me 9500. So I'm going to make that 1500, which should take it up to 10,000, which is 10 meters, which is actually above the 9.85. The only other thing you want to check there, guys, is see if there's a little thing called cover fill zone. Uncheck that and go OK. And I think we should be OK then. Um, yeah, for now we should be OK. Show and home story only. We'll leave that for a while. And we'll just click OK. Now, this is where we might be able to do this very quickly. I'm going to press the space bar and then I'm going to hover around the edge boundary at the bottom. So you'll see I press the space bar, I get this little Harry Potter thing. And then I go in and see that little black line. I'm going to click and you'll say, well, nothing happened. But because I'm in the mesh tool and I go edit, select all meshes, you'll see that actually it turns green and up here one has been created. And if we go right click and say show selection 3D, you'll see that we've actually got a flat site. OK, so. We're not doing too badly. I'm going to go back to the sea level datum 2D. And uh, now we're going to try and create our contours. Now what you'll do is you'll use the space bar again, but you've got to really make sure that the mesh tool is active and that the mesh is selected. If you don't make sure the mesh is selected, you're going to end up creating lots of extra meshes and it'll end up like some kind of bunch of bananas, which we don't want. So I'm going to zoom right into this top contour Press the space bar and I'm going to hover around this contour, that little black line, click it. And a little thing turns up, says new mesh points. But what we do is just click this and say no surface fitting. I click OK and you'll see some dots appear. Now what we do, if I zoom right in, the, the lines are quite smudgy. So I'm just going to right click out here. I'll deselect the mesh for a second. Right click and say true line weight to make it a little bit lighter. Now I'm in the mesh tool, so I'm going to go edit, select all meshes. I've only got one because I've only done one contour. I've got three or four more to do. Same process. Make sure the mesh is selected. Press the space bar, hover around the contour, one little black lines, and then left click. No surface fitting. Do the same for all the others. Try and get that little black line. I find that works. No surface fitting. And I've got two more to do. I'll just zoom in. And then I'm going to say no surface fitting. And now if you get this far, you should go file save. OK, now you should already have your file saved as, you know, your major project house. I'm just doing this as a test. But we've made good progress in this little demo, so I just want to make sure that I don't lose that work. Now we've done uh, the contours. I'm going to now just say show selection 3D. And we might actually see the yellow lines kind of, you might just about see them. Uh, it's not very clear, but I could just about make out a line across here. So it has picked up our contours not very well, but you can just about make it out there. So. OK, back to our sea level datum. And what we need to do then is be quite careful because we're now going to put the layers into, uh, sorry, not the layers, we're going to put in the, the uh, levels, I should say, into the uh, mesh itself. Now I'm going to do the uh, corners first. So don't forget, keep the mesh selected, 
and then zoom in and then you left click on this corner go to this little thing with a z value and this is really important so you bring this across and what you want to do is change this to mesh reference plane to project zero which should be zero because that's where our levels are relevant to or relative to and what we're going to do then is change this level to 8 800 to represent 8 meters do not click apply to all click ok and then we'll do all the other corners as well now we'll do the contours last but i just will do the contours first don't click apply to all 9400 is 9.4 meters uh, then I'll do the bottom left hand corner 9850 now I'm doing this a little bit quickly but please take your time guys because if you don't get it right there's a lot of things to kind of look over to fix so 9250 take care with your typing go OK so we have put the corner levels in now we're going to put in the contours and this is one you should do very very slowly as well so what you should do is pick one of the internal levels and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a level in this one so i left click we do the same as before we say project zero but the big difference here is we say apply to all and we're going to type in 8850 to represent that surveyor's figure and what should happen is when I say apply to all, it should do all the contours here inside, uh, you know, the contour line. The ones that it won't do are the edges because ArchiCAD seems to struggle. We'll have to do that manually. So let me just check one of these. And you can see that it's done that one. Perfect. I'll just check the one at the edge. And we'll have to do that one manually. Five zero. Click OK. I'll do this one. Eight eight five zero click OK and if you've done that congratulate yourself because that's a little bit tricky I'm just going to do exactly the same for all the others pick an internal spot make sure project zero apply to all make sure you remember what the level is I actually will need to go a bit closer so it's 9.1 or 9 100 so I just click that Z value project zero apply to all and that should be 9 1 0 0 click OK and with any luck all these other spots will have been the same and then all we've got to do manually is do the ones along the edge click OK go to the other end of that contour and we'll just do exactly the same 9100 uh, don't click see when you're doing the ones in the boundary please make sure you haven't clicked apply to all because it'll change all the other ones we've done as well and we do not want that so the next contour is 9.35 i pick an internal spot again apply to all project zero 9350 then manually do the ones on the edge do not make sure this uh has not got apply to all on it 9350 zero go down to the other end of that contour manually adjust the one on the boundary okay and we'll do the same for these ones so that's going to be nine six zero zero i'm just going to do the nine eight five one while i'm here as well nine eight five zero apply to all project zero and i think that's all the contours but I have to check these edge ones so that one 9850 check 9850 ok I'm just going to check if that was changed no it wasn't now when we actually view the 3D if there's some funny looking ones we can actually I try and identify the spots and fix them so I think these should all be okay now that looks to be fine I'm pretty sure this one here was okay as well so what we'll do is that mesh is still selected let's just see what it looks like in 3d show selection 3d and you'll see now that actually my mesh has been created and there's you can see how it's sloping gently sloping down this way 
and it's gently sloping down along the other sides as well. And we just rotate it around. There seems to be a slightly funny one in around here. So I'm just going to check those ones along the edges. Uh, make sure that they're all okay. So go back to sea level datum. And I'll just check down at the bottom. That was 9850. That's all right. Uh, yeah, I guess was, this is flat up at the top. So that's okay. 9850, um, 9600, 9600, uh, 9350, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so I think it's actually okay. And uh, if we've got this far, you guys can pat yourselves on the back because this is one of the trickier Archicad operations. But if you cannot manage it, don't panic because myself or Richard will then fix the mesh for you. Or sort you out and that so don't panic if you cannot do it but basically that's the process and uh, make sure you go file save when you've done that and uh, we can then make sure the mesh is in the right place relative to your house so if you find that your house is off to the side we will drag the mesh to the correct dimensions given on your site plan so we'll show you how to do that in class so that's the end of this demo video uh, thank you very much, and I hope you've managed to follow it uh, as best we can.